Hi there, it's May 2nd. My name is Galit and this is the Galactic News. So we live in such interesting time. First of all, the moon just moved into Gemini. It's going to meet uh, Mercury in the next few hours. And that means we're going to get a lot of information today and tomorrow. There's a lot of new information coming. We just had a new moon, solar eclipse in Taurus, talking about security, emotional security, and substantial financial security because that's what we all want really but pay attention that without emotional security we cannot have financial security because then we're not secure within ourselves we don't trust ourselves to create that financial security so first we have to heal those places that don't trust ourselves those emotions though those limiting beliefs those uh limiting ideas that uh, sometimes we carry from the past, past programming. And if we don't heal them, we cannot create substantial security in our life and enjoy life. And that's basically what we all want. It's very, very simple. The idea behind it is simple, but how do we implement that healing? So we just had a solar eclipse talking about that security. And on the 16th of May, we're going to have a lunar eclipse at 25 degrees Scorpio. And that lunar eclipse is a south node eclipse. That means things from the past are coming into the light. Uh, whenever we have a full moon, which is a lunar eclipse, we see better. There is just much light to see. So that metaphor allows us to see all kinds of things about ourselves, old programming, uh, hurts, wounds, traumas, anything and everything that we carry and is limiting us and we all carry that if you look through social media nowadays you see that everybody is talking about trauma and healing trauma but why do you think that is because the nodes of the moon are relatively usually showing uh, us as a collective what do we need to heal that's the south node and where are we going that's the north node and the south node is in Scorpio, the North Node is in Taurus, and they're going to be there for a year and a half. Every every round the nodes are doing, they stay in, in those signs, that axis of signs for 18 months. So we all are getting that opportunity to heal ourselves. But really, take it seriously, because if we heal ourselves, we create a new platform. We create a new base that from that more secure base, we can always rise up to the next level. I saw people that are talking about vibration, how to raise your vibra vibration. And it is true because we can only attract to our life what it is that we are vibrating, what it is that we are omitting, what it is that we are putting out there. And that really depends on how our relationship with ourselves is. So the quality of the relationship we have here with ourselves is the number one important relationship in our life. And the more we work on that relationship and make sure we heal that relationship from all kinds of uh, memories and traumas and limiting ideas, uh, the more we heal, the better we are able to progress to the next level and attract to our life what it is that we want. If there is a gap between what we want to what we have, we have to pay attention to the gap because the gap is that that we need to change. That is what we need to heal. So it is in, in an essence, it is showing us what we need to work on. How comfortable is that? So wherever you have dissatisfaction in your life, the other side of dissatisfaction is satisfaction. But how do you create satisfaction from this satisfaction? You have to push, you have to grow, you have to change something. You cannot continue doing the same thing and, accept, and expect different results. So what can you change? You can change your perception, you can change your awareness, and with that awareness and understanding, you can create different and more advanced, more beneficial reaction mechanism, emotional, reaction mechanism and this is in a nutshell what's going on that's the dynamic that's going on through may so the moon in in gemini is bringing us that information that we need to see 
and that we need to understand how to heal those patterns. One more thing is that Venus tonight is moving into Aries. That's a big one because if Venus in Pisces and she's an exalted in Pisces and she's all about love and unconditional love and acceptance and compassion, she's moving into Aries, which means I want that now. Venus is really impatient in, in, uh, in Aries because she really wants to gather and have and experience everything that she wants. So we are all going to become a little impatient with what we want. And then Jupiter is going to move into Aries very soon. That's going to have us speed away. That's a great expansion into Aries. So, and we're all going to become more concentrating on who we are and what we want. So pay attention what's coming your way. Those are great clues on what you need to know. So that's it for today. Enjoy the day and become the best version of yourself today and every day. I will see you next time.